I'm ready. I have a plane to catch. I found your sister in Tacoma. Maybe she'll talk to me about something useful. Please don't go out there. Hey, this is my work, Perry. I'm working. And when you want to tell me what I need to hear, you let me know. Philip Seymour Hoffman found dead in his apartment Sunday of an apparent drug overdose. The 46-year-old award-winning actor leaving behind three children and plenty of devastated fans. Here to talk more about Seymour Hoffman's work is WSJ editor Chris Farley. Hi, Chris. Hey, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. So, I mean, let's start with Capote. That was his award-winning role. Why did this just resonate so much with people? Well, I think because he's so widely respected as an actor, people knew the risks he was taking how deep he would go into his character. Um, he once told one of our reporters, in a Barbara Chai, a, a reporter for Speakeasy, just about how he had to leave his life behind and focus in on his art. And it was hard for him to even to organize the rest of his life when he was working on something uh, in his acting. So people respect that kind of commitment. And so I think the whole acting world and people that love film were saddened to hear that he had passed. And when you look back, I mean, this is just a huge body of work. But he was in the middle of a pretty big project right now. I mean, they're still filming the, Hung the Hunger Games series. He was a, a games maker in that. What's going to happen to that? Yeah, he's a guy that's known for making a lot of great indie films, smaller films, um, films that uh, get some attention like Almost Famous, Magnolia. But he's also in this huge blockbuster franchise, The Hunger Games. Um, it's still going to come out, obviously. Uh, he's still going to be in it. Um, he was only um, a, a few days away from finishing up his ro role, wrapping it up completely. Uh, uh, the, the journal has been told that uh, they'll, they'll be able to sort of account for the, the time he's going to miss. And so his character will still be in The Hunger Games, and you'll still be able to see it, and he won't be cut out in any way. And as you pointed out, I mean, this is a guy who has worked with so many people. There were so many actors, so many people who came out in Hollywood and were just on social media, basically providing their condolences. I think one of the things that really stuck with us was an Instagram from Gwyneth Paltrow. She was with him in The Talented Mr. Ripley, and you can see it there. It's kind of a picture of them in, in their post-production. But others, you know, were retweeting goodbyes. They were, you know, Jeff Bridges said he was so shocked and saddened about, um, about uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's death. Let's talk for a second about Almost Famous, though, because you point that out as one of his roles. Let's take a quick look at a clip of him in that. Because we are uncool. Now, while women will always be a problem for guys like us, most of the great art in the world is about that very problem. Good-looking people, they got no spine. Their art never lasts. And they get the girls. We're smarter. Yeah, I can really see that now. What was it about that role that stuck with you? Well, what I love about that is he could only be talking about himself. He was a guy that was an actor's actor who didn't go for the glamorous roles, who really focused on the character, on the heart of the material that he was doing. And so he didn't care about the surface aspects of what he was doing. And you see that in that clip. And it almost speaks to what his career was all about. Uh, focusing in on the insides, not worrying about all the surface things that are all ephemeral. The other one, I mean, that a lot of people are talking about today is just his role in Moneyball and how that stuck with them. What was it about that performance that stuck out to you? Again, Moneyball was another um, unglamorous performance. He played Art Howe, a manager who's sort of being left behind by the new world of sabermetrics and yet continues to try to soldier on. And just seeing the way he played a guy who was seemed unlikable, seemed like someone you wouldn't want to be friends with, someone who, who had hard, sharp edges. And uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman you know, reveled in playing those kinds of parts, but he didn't care whether you liked him on screen, he cared whether or not you liked the performance and the quality of the material that he was putting forth. And that's what made him such an important actor and such a respected actor. All right, he's definitely a talent that will be missed.